Once again, we're in the Vance and Hines compounds, Michael Barnes, Boca Raton, Florida, as you tell me. You've been part of this XR1200 series since its inception. You've been there since race one, and I think you're going to be there for the rest of them. Yeah, I was fortunate to get in one race last year, so I didn't do the full season, but I did get a did get a feel for the bike, and uh, it excited me over the possibility of racing for this season. And uh, spoke to Jim Lem Leonard and Vance and Hines and Drag Specialties coming aboard. We, we couldn't be more pleased with the support we're getting, and the XR1200s are just so much fun. All of us riders are having such a blast out there, and obviously the fans are enjoying it as well because it is a really good show, close racing, a lot of parody, and uh, I think we're just gonna have a tremendous racing series from here on out. Well, I couldn't help you over here and talking to a couple of the other riders. This is a chance for real Harley Davidson dealers, guys that uh, they have a passion for the sport, but let's face it, they don't have a big inline four or something like that. This is a way for them not only to get experience, but to get exposure because everyone clamors against the fence when you guys are out there. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, uh, it's just a, it's a, it's a growing series that's going to get better and better, and you know, hopefully, some of the dealers can see the. The benefits to supporting a team, you know, it doesn't have to be a full support team, but some of the riders could use a little bit of help. So, you know, whether it's a small support from a dealership or a full-on support, we're hoping to get some more dealers involved and more teams to where we can fill the grid up a bit more than we already do. We're talking to some of the guys at Vance and Hines. They really haven't torn the motors down. They're going through tires. That's about it. That's pretty affordable. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, we're limited to certain certain amount of tires for the weekend. And, uh, you know, you can you can really get through the weekend, you know, on, on two sets of tires if you really, really manage it well. So, uh, you know, once you get competitive and start going for qualifying and you want to throw, a, you know, another tire onto there. But for the most part, it is, a, it is an affordable class, uh, but it really helps if you can get some support from a dealership, that's for sure. The dealerships are always looking a way to cross-market their dealers, and this year the world has already recognized this. You guys are going to the IndyMoto GP, and you're going to be in front of roughly 100,000 fans right there, plus the TV package, plus all of Europe. This is definitely going to grow, and for the dealership, going to put them on the map. Oh, absolutely, and and the turnout that we we're already expecting for Indy is unbelievable. We got a, a handful of Canadian guys coming over, and probably more than a handful of guys coming over from overseas. You know, XGP star Jeremy McWilliams and Canadian champions of of all classes coming down. So. Uh, added with all the guys that are that are going to probably get interested in doing the one-off event at Indy because it doesn't conflict with any other class for AMA. Hopefully, we can get like a really full field, and it'll be quite the show for for the world uh, world crowd at Indy. So, looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a great show, and it's going to be a perfect opportunity to showcase what the Vance and Hines company has been able to do with this affordability, competitive racing, and a chance for a lot of people to really wrap, to gather around something. One thing for sure, we don't want one of these foreigners coming over and putting himself on an American bike in an American race. No, no, that bucked me enough last year at Barber with Jeremy McWilliams beating me in the wet, you know, and uh, I'm known as a good rain rider, but he's known as a really good rain rider, so he kind of stuck it to me last season. Uh, but I kind of needed to finish second to make some money, so we're going to be putting it all on, on the line to come in deep to, to make sure that Americans at the top of the box on an American-made motorcycle for sure. Keep your eye on Michael Barnes. He's part of the Vance and Hines series. They'll be coming to an event near you.